Hi, I'm Alex Bateri. I'm from Sable High School, and I'm in 11th grade. Welcome, Alex. Your artwork is on display in a nationally renowned museum. What one word would you use to describe this experience? Please explain. Um, I would guess I would have to say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very much, it's, it is a lot, it's a lot. It's, um, I will say I was very proud of my work. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I had a lot of um, confidence in myself mm -hmm. in how I thought this was going to go. And when I got that email, I cried. It was like, it was such a, a validating yeah. kind of feeling yeah. because I do feel like the um, my piece and like what I do, sometimes I don't know if it's, you can call it art. And like, it's what I like to call my art, and I think that was the whole thing with Andy Warhol and why I was so inspired by that. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you. So, you've given me your initial reaction when you first heard that your work was selected for Long Island's Best, mm -hmm. and it was very emotional. Yeah. Um, what work of art on display in the museum was the inspiration for your artwork? Um, the Marilyn by Andy Warhol, uh, the screen print. And why did you choose this work of art? Now, um, that work has actually been a favorite of mine for a while. Um, a lot of stuff by Andy Warhol. And the fact that it was here, I was just like, I just grasped onto it as fast as I was like, this is, I know what I'm doing. Like, I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, just because it had been a favorite piece of mine. Oh, I'm so happy because it really spoke to you and you had a great connection with it. Now, this is about the materials. Mm -hmm. What materials do you use to create your artwork? And were these the same materials as Andy Warhol used? And if they weren't the same materials, um, what led you to use the different material in creating this? Uh, yeah, these are definitely not Andy Warhol's materials. Um, he was very known for doing like the factory style, like screen printing. Yeah. Um, what I like to use is, yes, I like to paint and I like to draw, but um, another big part of my life is makeup and drag, which is like mm -hmm. the art of gender. And like I say in my statement, um, I like to think of my face as a blank canvas. I take a regular glue stick and I glue down my eyebrows and like start with a flat base so my face is just one blank canvas and then I could do anything I want to it. Um, so it's really just a bunch of cosmetics and sponges and brushes and really anything but the kitchen sink is on my face. Um, and yeah. then I see that it, this is a digital piece of artwork so it, it's not a screen print no and you actually you have a couple of layers of material besides using a digital image and creating mm -hmm. it I'm I'm assuming Photoshop yes um, I want to get that pink background so uh, the only way to really get it I wish if I could have done anything differently I would have taken the photo in front of a pink background but under the circumstances, I just edited it in the back. Well, I, I think that it turned out really well that you you did it this way because mm -hmm. it, it gives a really similar feeling to silkscreen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it, it's just a... and you really nailed the color. Thanks. The colors are spot on. And, and I love that, you know, it's... It's two, it's two different types, layers of materials. Mm -hmm. It's Photoshop, a digital print, but it's also makeup and the transforming power yeah. of makeup. That's why I really, I, I show this to my teacher and she was like, did you edit this before? And I'm like, no. And like that, I, that's what I want to get across is that the only editing that went into this mm -hmm. was getting my photo in front of a pink backdrop. Everything else was just carving in with blacks and like wow. really shaping the face. If you looked at me That's front amazing. on, it looks so weird because my face is like shifted. 
That is amazing. So that black area mm -hmm. in the shading on your cheekbones, yes. that is makeup that and is not makeup. a Photoshop filter. Yep. I was looking at it and I'm wondering, like, what filter did you use? There's no filters involved. That's pretty awesome. I also styled the wig that I'm wearing in that photo. That's yeah, pretty neat. And thank you for explaining it because I think most people like myself would think, oh, that was a Photoshop mm -hmm. filter. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't. You, have, you had to use artistry with cosmetics. Yeah. And that's hard to do it on yourself mm -hmm. as you are creating your art piece. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what else was this process like for you making this? Um, see, it's really cheesy, but like, when I like get all done up and like in drag, I like to think of myself like an old Hollywood movie star, like my boudoir, and I'm like little powder, little this, little that, and like getting everything ready. I think it's that's a part of the artistry of it, just like the simple lines and like how much a line can do for a face, and just like adding that black. Just I will say I have a pretty like wide man face, and shaping it into a tiny little petite bird woman head. <laughs> I think you succeeded. Thank you. Really? That, that, that's pretty amazing. Thanks. Um, and is, is the finished product what you envisioned it would be at the beginning, or do you kind of like get a little spark and then kind of go with it? Um, I was originally going to paint something. I was mm -hmm. originally going to paint a, uh, a painting, but then my art teacher like saw this stuff that I was doing and he's like, why don't you just do that? And I thought that was a great idea and it's like, if this is something that I'm passionate about and yeah. something that I love doing, why not give it a try? And to get that validation to know that like, that is a good thing, it was, that was pretty cool. That is pretty awesome. Really, congratulations. Thank you. Really, it's, it's a really neat piece and I love that. <laughs> So, have you participated in Long Island's Best before? Um, getting here, no. Um, my school has chosen me to be right. submitted, but this was the first year that I was accepted. Yeah. Oh, and and you are a junior. Yes. Would Would you consider participating again oh, next totally. year? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> this is a really fun event, it and it's such an honor, I think, to be to be part of this. Um, have you ever entered your artwork in other competitions? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I entered the Cornell. Uh, they do a fashion kind of thing. Do they? They do. They do a fashion. They give out a theme, and then oh, it's up nice. to the students to design a three, like a, a, a garment around the theme. Oh, that's pretty um, cool. So that was this year. Oh, that's neat. And, and how did that experience compare with this one? Well, I was not accepted to that one, but that's fine because, you know, you get down, but you pick yourself mm -hmm. up and you try again next year. Um, so the fact that I was accepted into this one meant a lot. Oh, good. And last question. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to pursue art or a related field in college and beyond? Oh, of course. Um, I don't see myself doing anything different. Like... There's no, like, I can't see myself working in an office. I can't see myself, like, doing anything else except this, because this is what brings me happiness. It's what brings me joy in life, and I can't picture doing anything else. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. <laughs>